Hello, thanks for joining me again for this uh, video 5 in the Algebra video series. In this video, it's only a short one this one, we're going to have a look at Algebra using substitution. When we um, uh, want to substitute into Algebra, we'll substitute each letter with a number that's provided in the question and then we'll just calculate uh, the overall value of the question. This will be pretty clear when we uh, have a look at an example here. And we're only going to have a look at one example because it's kind of like the same method each time. Okay, now this question tells us that the value of a in this particular on this particular occasion is 4 and b is 2 and c is 5 and they want us to find out the overall value of an expression a plus 3b minus c. Now 3 and b when they're beside each other kind of has an invisible multiply we could imagine being between the 3 and the b. So that's 3 times b in that middle term. Okay, so step 1 is to sub substitute each letter and we're going to write it directly underneath. We're going to substitute each letter with its value, with its number that's given to us in the question. Now a is 4 there so we're going to write a 4 directly under the a. So we've substituted that in. And uh, we have to be careful, we've got a plus 3 times whatever b is, and in this case you can see that b is 2, so we're going to pop that just in the bracket there to just separate that for our brain. And then we've got a minus c, and so we're, we're told that c is 5 on this occasion. So really we're just writing the numbers for each of the letters underneath and being careful about it. Step 2 is to calculate that out. We've got 4, and I just uh, this, this line just um, asks us to uh, think of just doing the 3 times the 2 to make 6. So you can see where that 6 came from. And uh, the rest of the question isn't that uh, challenging. You can even pop it into your calculator if you wish. 4 plus 6 is 10. Take away 5 is 5. So this is the only example we're looking at in this, uh, in this section because uh, there's the same, types of, uh, same method for it, all the types of questions that involve substitution, really. So we're just putting the numbers in that they tell us uh, in the question and calculating our final answer for it. So set it out nicely and that does half the work for you. And that's the end of that video. Nice and short this one. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.